When measuring using inches, we must use fractions to show the smaller parts of an inch. I am showing the portion of the measuring tape between 5 inches and 6 inches. These little lines each represent a fraction of an inch. There are 15 lines. Here I have a list of their fractions, all of which are given in sixteenths. Notice that some of the lines are longer than others. For the shortest lines, I show the fractions here in orange. Then, as the lines get longer, I use yellow and blue and pink. The orange fractions cannot be reduced and always have a 16 on the bottom. But the yellow, blue and pink fractions can be reduced. Here's an example reducing of one of the yellow fractions. 2 sixteenths has a 2 and a 16 in the numerator and denominator. 2 and 16 have a greatest common factor of 2, so I divide both top and bottom by 2 and I get 1 eighth. 2 sixteenths equals 1 eighth of an inch. Another example of a yellow fraction is 10 sixteenths. 10 and 16 also have a greatest common factor of 2, so again I divide top and bottom by 2 and I get 5 eighths. All of the yellow fractions work like this. Their numerator and denominator have a greatest common factor of 2. And the resulting fraction will have 8 on the bottom. Here's an example of one of the blue fractions. 4 sixteenths. 4 and 16 have a greatest common factor of 4. So I divide top and bottom by 4 and I get 1 quarter. 4 sixteenths of an inch is the same as 1 quarter inch. 12 sixteenths works the same way. The top and bottom have a greatest common factor of 4. So you end up with a fraction with 4 as the denominator. 12 sixteenths is equal to 3 quarters of an inch. Finally, here's the pink fraction. 8 over 16. 8 and 16 have a greatest common factor of 8. So I divide top and bottom by 8 and I get 1 half as my answer. 8 sixteenths is equal to 1 half inch. We use these same fractions over and over again so that we get used to them. That is, the space between 4 and 5 on the ruler has the same lines and the same fractions.